Hi, welcome to this series about Sardi. Sardi has been released, uh, version 9.6 is in a new version, and we have um, made for making a tutorial series about it. Video is, um, well, video number one is going to be uh, showing you Sardi icons. If you don't like them, don't install them. But if you do like them, then there is video number two and then you can install it on any distro, doesn't matter what distro you're on, as long as Linux. It's as simple as that, we're just one happy family of Linux users and we love our own distro and we learn all the time in Linux. That's, that's the fun about it and it's also a very creative tool. So, uh, video number three then is going to be all about flexibility and then you need to go over here probably, go to, well, to the Eric Dubois .be website because Sardi is, is originally from here and flexibility is about running scripts and then we've made another tutorial another video number four which is all about flexibility but then making your own scripts which can have lovely results and this is the end result of our exercise we got a wallpaper in and we said let's make a new icon theme so it's that easy to make a script. I don't know, you time it five seconds. Sec, uh, it, running the script takes maybe five seconds, but five minutes tops and you have a new icon theme, the way this looks. Okay, so that's what we do in number uh, four, uh, it's making your own scripts. And number five, the website, uh, the series is here, modularity. That's what I'm gonna talk about uh, now in this video and then the last video will be about the Sati extras everything we install everything we run everything we do well it's already on the github it you can just download it and say oh whatever scripts i'm not, not, not into scripts i just to download copy paste and that's possible as well and this is just to prove guys that i really try that um, my Sati icons are available on all distros out there and I keep up with all the versions that come out and see if they work on those as well. So if anything does not work, you have to let me know. I can't uh, keep up with all the distros and install them all the time. All right. So video number five, actually. Correct, Eric? Yes, this is video number five. This is about modularity. Okay. What's modularity in Sardi? What does that mean? means that we have uh, modules modules means blocks means building blocks means lego means hey we've created now this new theme from the last oh sorry <laughs> wrong button <laughs> we created the video in um, number four it was i believe and in icons we have sardi mono numic flora pokemon why pokemon yeah because i thought this was a pokemon not sure if, if it is but looks like one so well, so this is created in video number four, but we can do more with Sardi. We can do modularity. What I mean with that is, I've already explained to you in the other tutorials, which is very important, that we have an inheritance line. We can use that inheritance line. So you say this Eric guy he has made this nice Sardi Mononumix Colora, but I don't like it. These gray things, I want my Sardi icons back. It's as simple as editing the lines and we have his Sardi Mono. You see? It says Sardi Mono. And if you omit this, then it works. But you maybe don't want to, well, delete this. So, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. We have now a copy of the Sardi Mono Numix. And what we're going to do is say, look, this one is going to inherit not from the Sardi Mono, but from the Sardi Enter. So this folder is called Sardi Numix Colora Pokemon, telling the system, index team, forget about these Sardi Mono ones, forget about them, save it, and then you have now a new theme, Sardi Numix Colora Pokemon, telling him to use, of course, these uh, colors, which will be gray, by the way. So it's gone. Ah, wait. F5. We'll see how it pops up. He's not following icons. He's, he's all confused. Um, 
Meaning, um, pop, 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 what was I saying? Ah, yeah. The last thing we need to do is change this. And that's probably what's happening. Might be what's happening. No, it's not what's happening. Um, the icon theme cache, we need to delete it. But why delete? If there is just a convenient script there that says create one and it's going to be overwritten. So just tell him to create the new icon theme cache and that's making your system faster. It's going to check out the cache first. Done. Let's see what did we do. We used the modularity appearance, we went in the icons and there is now somewhere up there a Sardi Sardi Colora Halloween. Okay, let's scroll. Did we forget something? Yep, we forgot something. Yep. All right. I did a bad thing, Fox. I'm not gonna redo the video. But what did we do? So we changed Sardi, 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 where the Pokemon? Sardi, 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 Pokemon. So this one, that's a Pokemon. Here's the other one. Sadi Numix Colora Pokemon. What did we forget? The index theme. It's no longer Sadi Mono. It's now called Sadi Numix. So the same idea that we did in Inherits must be done here. If you say we're not going to follow the Sadi Mono anymore, we should rename it as well. Otherwise, you say, hey, what's going on? You can't select it really. But here it becomes clear that now we have this Sardi Mono Numix Colora Pokemon. That's one. And this one is the colored one. So this one says, fuck these mono things. We're going to use all the colors. So that's it. So that's the modularity you can use. And there are other uh, things I can do, of course, as an example. So we have still these... Uh, colors here but these elements have been changed um, let's see what else we can do let me think first okay I have another idea for instance you have the Sardi Mono Vertex and Sardi Mono Vertex is looking nice let's have a look still open no I should reopen it Sardi Mono Vertex it was my decision to hook them up together. Huh? I said, hmm, these vertex icons from, our, uh, from Horst 3180 look nice with these mono icons. But maybe again you say, hmm, not really. So you can say, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to control C, control V it. And we've just did um, exercise when we went to Sardi, right? What if we say, hey, how about Sardi flat or Sardi flexible or and so on and so on. So any of these can go. So what would be nice? We've done Sardi already, so Sardi flat, then there's Sardi ghost. Oh yeah, Sardi ghost flexible. I think that would be lovely. So ghost has been decided. How does that look? Sardi goes flexible vertex, right? So in the name, I know that it's going to be dependent on this one. And the vertex is coming from here. Rename. Now, let's not forget to do it this time. Sardi goes flexible vertex. That's what we want to achieve. But we have to tell it here as well. So, inherit, forget about Sardi Mono. Well, Sardi Mono is okay. But first, first, go check to Sardi Ghost, all with dashes, capital letters, so it stays the same always. This line, very important line, inherits, very powerful, says if you don't find an icon, then you go to the Sardi Ghost Flexible, and then to the Sardi Mono, and then to the Sardi, and then so on and so on and so on. Super powerful. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. No, nope. we can't have a look because we need to create a new icon cache. So let's run this. 
done. Now we can have a look. We definitely, definitely need a new wallpaper for, wallpaper for that. All right, show me how does that look? I'm hoping in an awesome look. Sadly, goes flexible vertex. So the name is correct. You know we have to where to look. And yeah? sadly, goes flexible and vertex. Close. Let's have a look at our system. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, add wallpaper for this. We need an awesome wallpaper for that. Oh, yeah, a cool one. How about this look, right? So this is what you get. So this is modularity. It's hooking up one wagon behind an engine, another icon uh, theme. So we, we now decided to say, okay, Sadie goes flexible, you rule, you're my engine, and I put my vertex well, um, from Horst behind it. And that's how we uh, make new themes. And that's, this is modularity. Let me see if I can find another example. Okay, we're gonna make a tough one. Is it still open? It's still open. You can also, in modularity, you can also mix stuff together. So there are extra icon themes, we're gonna talk about those in the next tutorial. But you can also change to, where is it again? Lots of articles, ah, papyrus. You can also say, hey, what about mixing icon themes? Why do you keep in Sadly? There's no need to, okay, to stay in, in Sadly. So in Arch Merge, we have lots of icons pre-installed. We love changing icons. So there's paper, there's papyrus, uh, papyrus dark. Um, well, we could use any of those. Let's see what we have. So say you want the apps so the icons here for applications for from papyrus i say that's the one i want and i want to combine it with something else so any of these could do we could do for hello as well it's one of the icon themes i maintain for someone else and um it's not mine that's just what i want to say here uh, so here we have as well a lot of icons and say, hey, I want these icons with your um, folds or anything like that. So, well, lots of lots of things. It's what I call the what ifs. What if I combine this with that? And what if I do this with that? So if we take a look at the hello, you could say, okay, we have now this hello theme here. Um, and then it's up to you saying, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that. What would you change? What would, would you like to have? And that's up to you to decide um, what elements in the theme you want to change. Okay. I'm still figuring out, figuring out what to do next, really. Um, There are different things we could do. If we go in here, these colors, for instance, you could say, I like this, these, these icons, I want these icons with my Sardi icons, with the Sardi mono. That's an idea. Yeah? You could say, I want all these apps and I want it with the folders of Sardi. Those are two projects totally different. One is more complex, the other is more easy. Um, let's start with the easy one. Okay, so we're talking about mixing two different icon themes together. To do so, we need to work somewhere. We have to have place. So I'm gonna control C from user share icons. So you need to have those hello icons, Eric, uh, people, it's on source for, no, it's on GitHub. So GitHub, hello, uh, is that enough? Um, nope, I don't think so. Let's add icons with it. Okay, that's the one you need. So dismiss, blah, blah. These uh, two folders are the folders you need. You see already the index theme and the cache. That's the one you need. Okay. 
So you download this thing so you can follow the exercise. Okay, I'm gonna copy this to a place where it can work. So where can I work? On my desktop. Right mouse click, paste. So here it is, let's work. This icon theme has places. 64, 16, what else? And symbolic ones. Okay. What if we say, let's take, what was I thinking? The Sadly Mono with these kinds of colors. All right. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's move everything out of the way. Let's go to our file manager. Go to dot icons. Icons. So we want sadly mono. Control C, Control V. We want sadly mono to be hallowed. All right, sadly mono hello. Then. We're going to name it the way so we can find it later on. Save. OK. Now you can do two things. Let's see. With in the scalable, in the places, we have our own sadly mono things, right? So they have to go. Delete. No places anymore. These places need to be copied over. Control C, Control V. We have now new icons for study mono hello in places. Let's see what is the end result already. If we do to create new icon theme cache. Okay. What did we create? What obnoxious thing do we have now? Appearance icons. So let's have a look. Sadly, 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 mono, 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 mono. It also helps to scroll, as you see. This is our creation until now. So we made sadly mono. We have made use of the sadly mono. There's one thing we should make mono as well, it seems. So I've deleted too much. The, the favorites one um, is now coming from Sardi and not coming from Sardi Mono. So I had to keep that one. That's why that one is blue. So not bad. I mean, if you like it. So that's the, the fun and the creativity of the user. But we made a new icon theme. We made a combination of folders from hello to here. That's one possibility. Yeah. The other possibility is maybe the other way around is say I don't like these icons I actually want to have uh, icons from Eric but with the icons from hello then we're doing the other way around let's do that exercise as well that would be interesting as well to do so that means um, or do you want me to to fix that one icon it's just keeping the favorites icon not deleting that one so if you go to boom, 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 scalable places so one of those that one should be copied copied over again i don't think there are others i should copy over nope yeah the rest are just links to it so just that one and then that icon theme is 100 percent done where are you? Sadi Mono Hello, scalable places. Control V, replace. And then, same procedure create icon cache. Not sure if it shows up already or not. If you have to change, you have to change icons. Click, click. And it should have changed. <laughs> okay, it must be somewhere else an icon that we have missed. But that's um, that's the fun and uh, I've challenged them to figure out how and why. 
So back to the next project. If what if we made an other icon thing? What if we did the following? Icons are here. Hello icon is there. What if we created a control C, control V? What if we make an hello? Let's make it a couple small letters. So we're using the hello as basis, and then we are gonna use. Let's use the folders from here. Sadly, mono papyrus colora burn. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use. Um, yeah, mono. Yeah, let's let's keep it as long as as it needs to be. Sadly, mono. So you know what I'm doing here. Sadly, mono doesn't need a bit as long, but sadly, mono papyrus colora burn. So I'm combining hello with that thing, okay? So what's in here? Just this, okay? So control A, control C. Oops. Places, 64, okay? Paste. Then you replace everything. You still see stuff that is not replaced. That's okay. If you don't see it, that's okay. If you do see it, then it's not okay. It's all distributor logo things you can put in here. So thing like that. It's uh, for your distribution. Okay, fine. Um, don't forget, of course, to rename it. I'm not gonna type everything. So this thing. Control C. That's the new theme. I'm gonna rename it here. It's not hello anymore. It's that one. Save. It inherits some surfing, which is good, which needs to be uh, well we set to go if we create a new icon thing cache. Voila, done. So modularity goes in two ways. You can not be modular in uh, Sardi alone, it can be modular between Sardi and Surfer, you can be modular between Sardi and Hello, you can be modular between anything really. That's what I'm trying to explain and show right now. Scroll all the way up because it's in the Halo here. And that's it. What did we make? What did we create? So everything is fine, everything works fine, everything looks good. It's just the world, the, the file system we've changed of course of course of course we need to select a red wallpaper yeah how about that okay so changing your wallpapers and then your icons then your uh, themes because we have a red theme which is fitting for now is awesome and um I think we can conclude it. There are more tutorials on Eric de Bois, as you've seen. It's, it keeps going on about modularity and so on. Modularity. Um, so take a look and have fun with the SETI icons.